What's up? Juno here. Now, I'm not one to really participate in drama for the most part. I've kind of grown out of that, and, well, the reason why I haven't been making videos, as usual, is I'm so fucking busy with work right now that I just don't have the time, and when I do have the time, I mean, right now, at the time of filming this, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, I just got off work, so that shows you how busy I have been. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about work. I would love to, but a lot of it I can't even talk about. So, what I want to talk about is kind of in the recent months on YouTube, and I've been watching and I've been following it, I just haven't been participating in it. The various bouts of drama that have happened. First it was the Radical Feminists, then it was Brett Keen, and now it seems to be Thunderfoot and Coughlin are at each other again over photoshopped images and stuff like that. But I think, in a way, both sides of this are kind of not thinking straight. Now, I, for the most part, I don't want to really pick sides here, but I think there's been mistakes across the board. And with the photoshopped images, at least some of them, yeah, they are a little risque, but the whole point about it is it, it's fucking just, they're just images, they're fake, whatever, and if you're worried that it's going to hurt in some sort of image, I mean, you ran that risk by making videos on YouTube, and you're going to have critics. I have critics. I mean, I'm not nearly as popular as either uh, Coughlin or Thunderfoot, and I don't claim to have some sort of delusional self-perception or, or think that I'm you know, nearly as entertaining or stuff like that. I mean, I don't make content nearly as much as I used to be able to, so whatever. But I, I just think maybe the, some of those shouldn't, they probably shouldn't be around. I don't know. But the the thing that really pissed me off was the video that Thunderfoot made. And what I kind of got from this, and the thing that really I don't think he gets, and, you know, it, it's it's been obvious as of late with his videos that he wants people to give him donations and stuff like that. And... Whatever, I mean, fine, if you think it's going to take you so much time and effort to make videos that you want people to pay you, I mean, you are a fucking partner, but the thing is, is I know why you can't monetize your videos or why it wouldn't be smart to, is because a lot of time you use copyrighted material, and you shouldn't be making money off of someone else's work. That's, in a way, you know, stealing it or whatever. It gets murky when you're trying to define fair use and stuff like that. I just don't think it's probably a smart thing. So he can't pursue that route if his content's not original or not all entirely his. Of course, for critique or criticism or to prove a point, yes, you can use it. But if you're going to make money off of it, that's where things get a little leery. And I guess he doesn't want to go down that road, and I don't blame him. But the thing is, is in the past... Thunderfoot's videos used to be about education and informing and debunking things. And as of late, they have just been a way to stir up attention. And if you are so mad that people are making Photoshop images and stuff like that and may act, I don't know, somewhat in a childish or immature way, but they do it for a different effect. I mean, Thunderfoot's well, I guess main basis is educational videos and to inform people. But people like Coughlin and, to a lesser extent, Federalist Films, and I, I watch all their videos, they do it in a different way. They entertain through laughter or through ridicule or something like that. I do the same thing. I don't claim to be some sort of very well-read educator. I'm not. Yes, I have a college degree, and yes, I've had education, I've been formally trained, and I understand the concepts of certain things, but to I'm not going to make a claim like that. So you have to understand what you're dealing with here. And judging by the reaction that Thunderfoot made, it seems like, well, obviously, in past interactions that Coughlin and other people have had with Thunderfoot, he doesn't seem to take humor, doesn't seem to understand humor, or stuff like that, unless if he's in control of it. And even so, it's kind of an underhanded fashion. I'm not saying that other people don't do that as well, but it's like if you criticize, it's a big issue, and I don't understand why that is. You're doing the same damn thing. So why is it so bad when someone else does it? 
I like it when someone out there with something contrary to something I've presented posts a video response to me. I like it. Even if I completely disagree with it, it is great. And it's not just the attention factor. I'm not trying to garner more attention or anything like that. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice, but that's not the point. It's to exchange ideas. And if it really bugs you that much, the best thing to do on both sides of it are to not acknowledge it. I've had trolls in the past, and the best way to deal with them is don't indulge them. If you do, they're winning, okay? But this goes on to a whole nother thing, especially when dealing with Underfoot, is if he's so affected by this, and if he doesn't like Coughlin so much, and he seems to be into this drama bullshit, why is he favoring videos of trolls? That doesn't make much sense to me, unless, of course, maybe he's somewhere, or he knows who's running these accounts. I don't know. I'm not trying to draw a conspiracy. I'm not trying to say they're his sock puppets. I'm just saying that it just seems a little bit like you're kind of being inconsistent. I don't understand, you know, why are you indulging them if you hate it so much? But the biggest issue here is that most of this material was brought to YouTube by other people, especially the photographs that seem to pester Thunderfoot the most. They were brought to the attention by other people. Yet, I think the reason why he's going after Coughlin is Coughlin has the most subscribers and is m more well known. You know, he's more popular. And because he mentioned something in the past or in other mediums, therefore make the connection. That's not really doing your research so well, in my opinion. I could be wrong. And he could be, he could be lying for all I know. I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to take sides here. But, you know, there are other people involved here. And for you to think that YouTube needs to do something when it wasn't necessarily him or Federalist Films or any of the other people. Now, I'm not saying some people were a part of this or a group of people were a part of this because, yeah, it's obvious. But what I am saying is YouTube is not the Internet police. If these things did not happen on their website, there's very little they can do about it. They aren't the internet police. And how many times has YouTube been in the wrong with your videos, Thunderfoot, or your channel? They have in the past. I know this. I've been subscribed to you for that long. I remember back when you've had account issues and videos flagged and stuff like that. I remember all that and DMCA's and other bullshit. I know all about that. So now you want YouTube to step in and censor someone? And by the way, you have it all wrong about his 666 channel. You know, you're trying to make some sort of connection that just because he had a channel terminated means he's permanently banned, yet he has all these other channels. Well, another thing is, too, is let's say someone's channel was permanently banned, but they had another channel, and they existed, they coexisted at the same time. That's exactly what happened to Coughlin, is when his 666 channel got banned, he still had his 616 channel, and he was running them side by side for different things. So... Take, for example, I had a similar case. My Imajuno channel, which I had for many years, was terminated due to false flagging and false DMCAs. The, not, less so the DMCAs, but more so the false flaggings. The same thing happened to Coughlin. It wasn't for posting certain material that is against the YouTube guidelines. It was false flagging and false DMCAs. He had a group of trolls, which, who knows, maybe some of these trolls are the ones that you've been favoring videos of, fuck with his channel because they don't like him and they've made shit up in the past to try to use against him when it's completely inconsistent so I don't fucking get it this is immature it's bullshit get over yourself grow a thicker skin even though you said you have a thick skin which is completely an utter bullshit that you're making responses like this and expecting people to pay for this bullshit. If I want to watch drama, I wouldn't want to give money to someone who's making that. It's not, it's not my thing. Your videos and your channel was around education. Now it's petty. It's petty, it's meaningless for the most part. And you're going about things the entire wrong way. You've completely deviated. Maybe the drama gets more attention. Maybe it gets you more views. Maybe it gets you more subscribers. But don't claim to be some sort of educator and be, you know, your main purpose here is to educate people. Because, honestly, I haven't really seen an educational video come from you in about a year. Maybe even more. 
So maybe you should rethink your position on what your purpose is on YouTube. At least I would if I was claiming one thing and doing another. But what do you think? Am I completely off base here? I just think that this is just complete and utter waste of time. It's fun to watch, yes, and like I said, I don't necessarily want to indulge in it, but it's just kind of, you know, what, what, what the hell is going on here? Get your shit straight, grow a tougher skin, mistakes were made on both sides, yeah, some of the pictures were fucked up, some of them were fucking hilarious, but get over yourself. If you can't take criticism, then maybe you shouldn't levy it on others. Anyway, do your part. Blaspheme daily.